Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released a new build of Android 16 Canary 2511 and I gotta say that I really like this new update as it includes some really cool features and refinements that are worth mentioning and by the way this is not a small update so let's find out what's new. Starting with the update size and the build number as usual it's ZP11.2510310009 and the update size is 577 megabytes and now let's take a look at the new features. Let's start with the home screen as I spotted some new changes. The most exciting one is the new folder animation. When you tap on it two things are happening now. First the wallpaper becomes darker and the home screen zooms out as you see here. And for reference to show you how the stable version looks, nothing happens. When you tap on the folder, it just expands without any animations. But now when you tap on it, you see this bouncy animation at the end. The wallpaper becomes darker and that makes the folder stand out. The second change is in the recent apps screen. When you try to share any image from your recent app, by tapping on this button like this, it immediately opens the share sheet with the option to edit the image or copy it. And then you have the rest of the options that you can find in any share sheet. But previously doing the same action shows the most recent three contacts and then you have more. And this one expands the share sheet or you can simply drag the image on top of any of these options. The reason I like the new approach is now you have the ability to copy the image which wasn't the case before and this will allow you to immediately share it with the contact without the need to worry about deleting the screenshots later. You can simply go ahead and share any image directly from here, copy it and that's pretty much it. The third change is under the home screen settings. When you go to the apps list settings, you will see a new toggle here called show browser tab tiles. The description says display tiles for resuming browser tabs and I couldn't get this feature to work. I tried to browse multiple pages in Google Chrome, wait for a while, but I couldn't see any tiles in the app list. I also tried some searches, so I hope to see it working because I think this feature will be really cool to immediately see your uh, most recent browser tabs over here so you can jump right away and continue browsing. So let's see what's going to happen in the future. Now let's talk about the wallpaper and the style app. We got two new changes and two new bugs. Starting with the bugs, the lock screen preview is broken. As you see, it doesn't show any of the items. Plus the shortcuts menu is no longer showing and I couldn't find any way to change my lock screen shortcuts on this build. In contrast, we got a really cool feature. When you go to wallpaper and then live effects and then pick one of your images to set as a wallpaper like this one, for example, now you have the ability to reposition or resize your wallpaper from this screen. As you see here, when I drag my finger over the image, it gives me the option to reposition it wherever I want. Plus I have the ability to pinch to zoom as well. And once I interact with the image, all the controls disappear from the screen. Uh, we lost the swipe left and right to change the shape. And now your only way to change the shape is by tapping on the item like this. And there is something that I didn't know before, which is not new by the way, is the ability to tap on the shape again to see how the animation will look like. So let's say you want to position it like this and you want to see how it will look on your home screen. You can tap on the shape again and it will show you this and you can zoom in, zoom out, reposition it. So this is a really cool feature and the same applies to the weather tap. You can do the same thing. You can zoom in, zoom out and reposition your wallpaper before setting, which is also nice. Only the cinematic option doesn't have the ability to reposition because it doesn't make sense. Now let's talk about the new changes in the quick settings. And the first one is related to the flashlight. When you tap and hold on it to change the brightness, now you will see this horizontal line that indicates the 100% mark. Once you push it all the way up, it will disappear. And as you see in this screenshot on the left, we didn't have this horizontal line before. The second change is in the edit page. Instead of having a minus button, 
at the top right corner of each tile to remove it. Now you will see the remove button at the top right corner. So let me show you a quick example. Previously, if I want to remove any of these tiles, I can simply tap on the relevant minus button, but now I need to highlight it first and then tap on remove. Not only this, but the header and description are now closer to each other and the title is bigger as well. Before jumping to the next chapter, if you like my wallpapers, you definitely need to try the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. You will see a lot of stunning wallpapers and a lot of them work with the live effects feature of Android 16, which is getting better over time. So for example, you can download the wallpaper locally on device and then apply the live effects on them. As I showed you earlier, you can simply tap on the download button over here. Plus you can edit your image before downloading if you want as well. And here's one of the examples I have. As you see, it works with the live effects feature, no problems. So if you want to give it a try, you will find Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let's get back to Android Canary. The rest of the changes in this build are located under settings. And the first one is under network and internet and then internet. When you tap on the gear button next to the connected Wi-Fi network, you will see two new toggles added to the list. The first one is called Share Network and the description says other users on this device can access this network. And the second one is called Allow Users to Edit Network, which means other users can make changes to this network. Not only this, but if you are not connected to the network, you will see this share icon next to the lock. And that will let you know that this feature is activated. So let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to connect to this one and then go to settings, turn off the sharing option and then get back to the Wi-Fi settings. As you see, the share icon disappeared. I'm sorry, the phone went into the battery saving mode. But as you see, the share icon disappeared because I turned off the sharing option. The second change under settings is very minor. Google updated the animated tutorials of the uh, left to check phone. Now it's using this material U shape. And the second one is the tap to check phone. As you see, it looks different as well. So these are all the new changes I spotted in this update. Now let's talk about my experience with the performance and the stability of this build while filming the video. From my experience, the performance is very snappy, no major issues. Everything works as expected. As you see here, the apps load as fast as the 8 Pro can go. And also I did a Geekbench score and I found noticeably better numbers on the same phone. I'm getting a multi-core score of 4,059 and a sort of 3,634 in the previous test, which I did on the same phone without any factory reset and there is a big difference in the multi-core while the single core is about the same. It's also worth noting that I came across only two bugs as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the broken lock screen preview and the missing shortcuts menu. Other than this, it works really well on this phone. And if you are wondering about the GPU, I don't have any history, but if you have an 8 Pro, you can relate. I got after this update 7866. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything you need to know about Android Canary 2511. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.